Hello everyone, Jeff with The Green Review. Today we're talking about a hydroponic planter system that we've built here as a test. The old gutters here are left over from the garage project and these are the actual lengths. I didn't change them at all. I did buy a couple of extra end caps and build in a couple of downspout drainage pipes so that they will flow back and forth. So the water flows to the here, starts up here, goes over, down, across, down over on the other side and back into our 50 gallon rain barrel that we're using for this project. Now the pump is about a 300 gallon per hour uh, Tetra pump for water gardens and it's running through a half inch PVC or, or plastic tubing. Uh, we like black plastic because the clear plastic allows algae to grow on the inside and clog it up. So we've got black plastic tubing there. The pump is running on a outdoor timer that is set to run 15 minutes out of every hour and in the summer when it gets hotter if we need to we can change the timer and run it every half hour or every 15 minutes or whatever we want to do. We're also using different planting mediums here. We're using red lava rock, expanded clay pebbles, and plastic media left over from water garden filtration system. So we have three different mediums we're testing here. We're using three different varieties of strawberries. The top layer here is Albion, which is a day neutral variety. We're using Jewel uh, as a June bearing variety in the middle. And down on the bottom, the ones that are blooming are ones that have been growing in our garden and we needed to change some space around. And these were going to be taken out anyway, so we decided to put them into the system. Uh, they are more mature and they are already blooming. I think it's a June bearing variety. We're using a uh, Peters fertilizer. It's now a Jack's fertilizer that has a lot of micronutrients mixed in. We have high pH water and this fertilizer is designed to be used with a um, higher pH. Uh, so. We're going to test it out. Fertilizer doesn't have calcium in it, so we might have to do some work with getting calcium into this. Since there are no nutrients in the planting medium, there's only coming from the water that where we've added that fertilizer in. We're going to have to do some testing and adjusting there uh, to make sure it all works. We're just running a test at this point, and we'll uh, check back later to see if we get strawberries and how many we get and whether this works out very well. Well, everyone, this is the update that was promised a minute ago. These aren't strawberries. Last summer, we found that raccoons, possums, and cats all decided that this was a great ladder to get over the fence. They would get on the top of the barrel through the stuff that was piled up next to it here, and then they would climb up through and they really messed up the strawberries. We did get a few strawberries. It was a little bit of a success, but we had a little bit of a problem with the animals. So this year we've changed things around a little bit and we don't seem to be having that problem. Um, they did cause some of the gutters to be a little bit out of whack, so I do have a couple of boards supporting some of the ends to try to keep them level so that the water flows through and back into the barrel rather than running off an end. The plants this year, we have some uh, sunnier annuals on the top because it gets more sun, shadier annuals down through here. We do have some uh, strawberries left uh, in here. We have some thyme, sage, and mint as well, so we're trying a few more things. And all of these things seem to be working really, really well. So as a as general principle, I think the process works. I think this is a nice way to do it. I think if I had a much longer section of fence that I wanted to hide, I probably would go ahead and run one or two at least across the entire length because this barrel holds so much water, it can drain down a long ways filling these troughs before that water gets back in here. So I think that uh, this, uh, this barrel can feed a lot more of the gutters than I, what I have here. Uh, it does go down very slowly, I've you know, watched, and, and it doesn't uh, change very much at all unless there's a, a drip on the end or something that'll splash water out. The different planting mediums don't seem to make any difference whatsoever, so the red lava rock is really cheap at the uh, hardware store, so I would probably recommend just using that. This year, we haven't added any fertilizer. Now, the bottom few plants here were put in uh, right out of the plugs with the soil still on them. So there is a little bit of uh, peat moss and maybe a little bit of nutrients in that little ball. Maybe there is some fertilizer in the whole system through the rinsing of those uh, root balls. But we didn't add any fertilizer yet and plants are doing very, very well. And this has been a Greener View. Thanks for watching.